Hello dear friends, in coming 2021, today I am here to explain telling that how to find 95 confidence term for population proportion with shortcuts and easiest method which nobody tells you about that. So must watch this lecture from starting to end so, so that you may gain more concepts and information. So let's start the lecture. So first of all, I am telling you the difference between sample proportion and population proportion. First of all, I am telling you a sample proportion. Sample proportion, which is simply denoted by small p hat, is equal to always number small x over small n. N is the number of samples, you can say that. And next is the population proportion. Population proportion. Population proportion is noted by small p with, without without cap. You can write here capital like so word capital n. So that's the difference between sample proportion and the population proportion. Next point is the formula for confidence curve for population proportion. Very very simple. The formula is very very simple. P is equal to p hat plus minus. Must remember very easiest. Z alpha by 2 square root of p hat q hat divided by n. So that is the formula of population proportion which we use in that problem. So I hope that you have gained a lot of points, the difference and the formula. Now solve the problem which is the main point of that lecture is the number sample of 400 members. We show that, so here number of samples are 400, that's clear. Next, here the labor force in a certain region showed that 32 were unemployed. What is that 32? So that 32 is the x value. So that which is the x is the 32 value, which is the unknown value, you can say that that is the x, which is not shows that sample and nothing, nothing mean. So that simple value is the x32. That's here. And next here, construct the 95% confidence interval. You have to find the 95% confidence interval for for, for for the proportion, you can say that for the proportion very easily you can do it just like that. The formula is already given here. You can use the formula p is equal to p hat. So here given down here, you have to solve that x over n. Must remember. You can uh, you can check the here what is the formula some proportion and population proportion. Very simple. Here is given an x x over n. That is given x over n, which is equal to p hat. So given here, p hat, you have to calculate p hat very simply. x is given is 32 and n is given here 400. You can similarly, you can, uh, you can calculate here q hat. q hat is equal to 1 minus p hat. You can do it himself. 1 minus p hat is given 32 over 400. You can solve it very easily. And next point is there, you have to find the 95 quarter number. P hat and P hat, all values are given and that is 400 is given. You have to calculate here, now Z alpha by 2. You can do it very simply. Now you have to calculate Z alpha by 2. So very simply, simple process, shortcuts method. Put 1 minus alpha is equal to, given the value, value is 95%, 0 0.95. 1 plus value will be minus 0 0.95. Is equal to minus alpha will be plus alpha. One minus you can easily do so that here one minus zero point nine five. You get the value here zero point zero five. Zero point zero five. But you have to find here alpha by two. You have is divided by two both sides. Zero point zero five divided by two. You get the value zero point zero two five. So here alpha by two is equal to zero point zero two five. Is the value. Now simple shortcut method. Now important point, important note telling you that very very simply you have to use the table here areas for standard normal distribution table which is available in book share normal show three page number 545. So very simply 0 0.5 simply minus by alpha by 2. You know that the normal distribution, normal distribution shape is just like that 
normal distribution range is minus infinity to plus infinity in that section total normal curve is total normal curve is 1 dash pi is 0 0.5 and dash part is the 0 0.5 dash 0 0.5 minus alpha by 2 which is given as 0 0.5 alpha by 2 is 0 0.025 and subtracting that is that value here 0 0.4750 so one dash value must remember so c dash value in dash table of radius you can easily calculate the value of z alpha by 2 which will be you can easily calculate dash value will be here 1.96 which is the value will calculated from the table so next just put the value in that section at p hat plus minus more limit upper limit you can easily calculate confidence over for p himself so i hope that you have got you have got a lot of points thanks for watching the video if you like this video then can you must subscribe to my youtube channel must press bell icon button for getting notification of my new lecture and must remember i have already discussed all the parts confidence over for mean difference Everything I have already discussed, which is available in the description, you can watch it. Goodbye.